Oh man, this is some pretty gnarly terrain. They call this the power lines track. Many people bring down their four wheel drives and dirt bikes. And it's not a walk in the park for most vehicles, but this little electric bike has been able to go up this hill. Sorry, I'm just using the internal mic for the GoPro at the moment because I don't have an external one yet. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Not bad for a stock controller and battery. Got the 60 volt, 32 amp hour battery in this bike at the moment with it came with a 60 volt um, Segway controller before but I've put on the Seron X controller it makes a negligible difference to be honest with you because with the Segway one you don't even need to snip the little green and black cable all you have to do is change the settings in the app and it goes away all the way to give you full power as long as you've done the tutorial videos there's three tutorial videos that it takes you through once you've done that you can have full power it's got the little bash plate it's got the ebmx essentials kit ebmx and map are awesome peoples they'll take care of you try to take off with the stand still down yeah so i drove down with the bike mounted on the back of my car there just on a bicycle rack because this thing only weighs 50 50 kilos compared to the storm b or traditional dirt bikes that are like 120 110 115 sometimes even more if you look at like the drz and stuff but this little bike goes all right eh? Thought I'd bring it bush today just to see what it's capable of. I'm fairly new to riding off-road um, and I don't feel overwhelmed by this bike. Just keeping the left hand on the rear brake. I've got my armor jacket, my gloves. Oh, almost been there. And my off road boots. Gotta keep safe, you know. The only other thing worth mentioning is I disconnected the rear brake, the electronics of the rear brake. Because what it did was when I got it, I was trying to do some, trying to practice wheelies and every time I'll be up and I tap the rear brake it was disengaging the motor down there which is not what you want if you want to be doing balance point wheelies you want to have it there and just modulating the brake without any interference so I disconnected that for the front one I left it because I don't really use the front brake that much especially when I'm um, in the dirt and doing wheelies Let's go up this hill again. Stand up. It feels weird to stand on this bike at the moment because it's so small. When I first got it, I was like, is it the X160 or is this the X260? 
but it definitely was an X260. Ah, this thing is doing nice at the moment, eh? It's going pretty good. It's not busy at all today. It's like my own personal playground. Check that out. I'm just worried to stray too far away from the car because it looks a bit dodgy around here. Not much fun. Doesn't look like fun. It's just a straight gravel road. Let's do a little drift. <laughs> it has two modes. It has EP mode, which is like the eco mode, and you have your sport mode. So in EP, it doesn't even want to lift the front tire. It's like a gentle give of the full power. And if you have it in sport, then it will go up. But it's not crazy power, you know, it's not power that's gonna throw you off the back if you've been on a dirt bike like a WR450 or something like that. Let's see, where else can we go? You're still gonna spend a fortune though, because in no time it's gonna feel underpowered. So you're gonna spend heaps of money on a controller, an aftermarket controller, it be a back 4K or back 8K. Oh, let's go have a look over there. It really wakes up the bike. Honestly, I can't say what the difference is, uh, but you're gonna find heaps of videos on YouTube on how much of a drastic change a drastic difference you get from having a high output battery and an aftermarket controller as opposed to the stock battery and controller They're pretty all right, eh? What's going on here? What are you doing? In the middle of the road. Get out. Let's try and go over this branch. It should be fine. Okay, let's see if we can just go up in the bush, like the actual bush. He goes all right. I'm gonna head back because you know Australia is famous for having snakes. I'm not particularly a fan. Ah. I think I'm gonna head back home now. I've had enough fun for today. But thanks for watching.